<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to another episode of Geeking and Drinking. It's Sunday. We started off good. Now I'm annoyed because of fancy football. So let's go because I got there, some things to say. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 75 of Geeking and Drinking. I'm Eddie. I'm Steven. And like I said, oh, it's Sunday. Started off good. I'm ready for a beer. Let's just get to that. I'm ready for a beer. We got some beer here. We got some beer down here. We have a lot of beer to get through this episode. And from what I see, I think we got so far two Texas beer, Texas breweries. But three. Okay. Oh, they're all three Texas breweries. Um, so I'm going to go and grab one. So uh, Stephen brought all of these. Uh, it is October. We got the boot. Uh, we got the Stein, and uh, we got a bunch of Oktoberfests. This uh, the first. Uh, Stephen brought all these beers. Uh, he brought all these beers today for the show. Uh, the first one that I grabbed is from Panther Island Brewing. Uh, this is from Fort Worth, Texas, and this is all Oktoberfest. Coming in at six percent. Uh, yeah, man. Silver Fest. Pretty cool can. I like it. Very important to my boot. So, it is quote unquote spooky season. Uh, we, uh, ooh, it's a bubble. We want to clear face, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so we're going to be uh, talking about. Uh, 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 a few things here, but I think like one of the, some of the main things, some of the main things we're gonna be talking about are obviously uh, we both watch um, Marvel's uh, special presentation, uh, Werewolf by Night. We both uh, watched uh, the third installment of the well, I guess you want to say fourth, I guess I don't know, whatever. Halloween Kills, I mean Halloween Ends, uh, the final chapter in whatever we're doing with this movie, because <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I've been watching some stuff on Netflix. Uh, we finished uh, She-Hulk, uh, the season finale. Uh, as of go to oh, oh, oh. Um, as of uh, today, uh, we uh, like tonight actually at the time of this recording, we're gonna get the season finale of House of Dragon. So that's pretty exciting. And just you know, shoot the shit. Um, you know, just. What we do on this show is what we do. So, like I said, uh, first and foremost, we got the beers. Oktoberfest, I got my boot. Steven got his stein. Cheers. You guys already know what it is. It's so weird, you guys. I don't know how, how, to, how to hold this thing. I don't want to hold it up like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying. I want to try it out. See. So like uh, Eddie said, this is a. <laughs> oh shit! It's real. <laughs> uh, like Eddie said, this is a. Oh, let me turn me over here. Okay. okay. Um, Oktoberfest season. It's still Oktoberfest season. Uh, so I found three Oktoberfest that we haven't tried. Yeah, I've never tried any of these. <clears throat> so in, all these are gonna be brand new Oktoberfest that we haven't tried. Uh, like Eddie said, this one is gonna be coming from Panther Island Brewing from Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, it's an Oktoberfest style Marzen. Again, uh, he said it comes in at a 6%. Um, I had to put two in this time because it's, it's one just was not enough. It was just barely halfway. So, you know, got, I got to fill it up. Got to fill it up. And, of course, you know, the dude on the uh, on the can is, like, rocking out, you know, big old full beard, long hair, big old stein glass. So, he seems to be with some boots on, dude. Yeah. And yeah speaking so. of Oktoberfest, we actually kind of accidentally stumbled on uh, <coughs> Oktoberfest celebrations at Alamo <coughs> Alamo Beer Company here in San Antonio this past Thursday. Um, and I say accidentally because we just basically were just going to go hang up at a brewery, have a few beers. And I didn't know that they were having a celebration. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I mean, that's cool. Um, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I mean. I liked it. It was fun. It was different. Uh, it was Scottoberfest over in Alamo Brewing. Yeah. So usually on Thursdays they have their beer, bacon, and bingo night, which with trivia uh, between each uh, round of bingo, and 
happened. Yeah, so we were going there thinking we were going to play beer, bacon, and bingo. And we were like, oh, there is something actually going on. Here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, something bigger. And it was pretty cool. Uh, there was a few um, ska bands there. I didn't get to see the first band because obviously they had played early on in the day. But <clears throat> the second band I got to see was uh, Spies Like Us from San Antonio, Texas. And uh, they were pretty good, pretty fun, a uh, real fun band. So, you know, me, I, I love and enjoy ska, so, you know, I was happy to be there. You know, I feel like uh, a lot of the episode I'm going to be um, talking a lot of shit, uh, especially with uh, some of the stuff we're going to talk about as far as, like, movies and TV shows. Uh, one thing I want to get your take on is because I know it's something that you're, you know, you're, you know, you're a fan of, and I can imagine maybe a disappointment about it. I don't, and I don't think we even talked about it in the last episode. Um, your, I guess you call it your favorite band, Blink One Eight Two, came out and announced that they are reunited with Tom DeLonge <coughs> after uh, what two albums and I don't know how many years, almost ten years. Um, and uh, they announced, uh, you know, they a uh, new song, new album coming out, um, uh, a a world tour. Uh, you know, they're gonna be going all around. Uh, making a couple stops here in Texas. I think one in Austin. Three stops: Austin, Dallas, and, and Houston. Uh, Houston. Um, and so yeah, man. Like we like we're like, oh, we should try to get tickets. And it wasn't too far to that that we realized that those tickets were hella expensive. And when I mean like expensive, I'm not talking about like a hundred, two hundred, not like three hundred, four hundred, five, six hundred, a thousand for one ticket. Um. I, I pretty much like was like yeah I, I I don't think I'm making this at all like as much as I would love to go uh, I don't think I'm making that and especially because like the pre-sale tickets pretty much like went pretty fast so, like the like when the tickets went officially on sale to the public I guess you could say uh they just like skyrocketed and um I don't know if you plan to or you did get tickets or didn't get tickets but how, tell me how you feel about that. <clears throat> as big of a fan as I am for Blink, I should have just went ahead and bought the tickets during the pre-sale. Uh, I was being a little selfish and in, in, in hopes that I could find something a little closer. Obviously, I was going to only be able to get nosebleeds. <clears throat> there was no way in hell I was going to get floor seats at all. <clears throat> Those were going about $500, $600 a pop. Yeah. So. You know, that wasn't even including VIP access or anything. That's mm-hmm. just for the fucking ticket. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little disappointed, but I'm not surprised at the same time because, I mean, look at what happened with My Chemical Romance. It was the same exact thing. They got back together. They toured, did a world tour. And even their nosebleeds tickets were about, you know, 150 to $200, mm-hmm. you know, per ticket. Um, so I wasn't surprised when, especially for Blink, you know, obviously Blink being a lot bigger than My Chemical Romance, uh, in my opinion. And um, I agree with that. <clears throat> and, you know, especially the fact, too, that Tom DeLonge came back. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I wasn't I wasn't surprised that they were going to be that much, which, you know, <clears throat> why I was going to settle for nosebleeds. But even up in the nosebleeds, like if you wanted like up close to the balcony, you were looking at about two hundred, three hundred dollars per ticket. Yeah. Um, it's ridiculous, dude. Like, yeah. it's, it's ridiculous. Like, uh, but I mean, considering too that this, these this is an arena world tour, there were I think about three or four bands that were going to tour with them. Well, I think they're like shifting, like you know, not not every, not all of them are going to be like in every single city. Like, I know Turnstile is going to be most of North America. Well, Turnstile was going to be here. Yeah, um, and I think uh, my story so far, I think. I know Rise Against wasn't, yeah. uh, Rise, and Rise Against was going to be one of the openers, but I think they're going to go more on their um, European tour. Yeah. Because uh, I, I know they're like kind of on tour themselves, too, but yeah, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyways, you know, it, it would have been cool to see them. You know, I've seen them multiple times. I saw them during the... Uh, Animal of the State Tour, when they first got Travis Barker, I saw him, um, you know, with the Take Off My Pants and Jacket Tour. Mm-hmm. Uh, definitely got to see him <clears throat> when you went with me to this one with their self-titled tour mm-hmm. uh, when uh, Cypress Hill opened up. Yeah, and Take It Back Sunday. Yeah, and Take It Back Sunday. Yeah. And then um, and then I, I also got to see him uh, when uh, they did the California album with uh, Matt Skiba. 
Uh, so, I mean, that was still pretty cool, but it wasn't, like, it, it still wasn't the same for me. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed because I would have really loved to go see him, especially now that Tom DeLonge's back. But, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. And, you know, I'm pretty sure hopefully maybe they'll do, like, another tour or something. But, you know, yeah. see how it goes. And um, <clears throat> that's not something I want to touch on real fast, too, is that, like, I mean, I think it was back in January... Or yeah, January. Uh, you know when that big old when we were young fest was 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 announced. You know, it was a giant lineup with headline by uh, My Chemical Romance and Paramore, and you know, like all like the bands that we grew up watching. You know, like just I think a, Blink was a headliner too. Oh no, that that that's for next year. Oh next year. Yeah yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Um, and so um, talking about this year. Yeah, and actually that it's, it's taking place like right now, like in Las Vegas, and actually it was it was supposed to start yesterday, but it got canceled, <laughs> and. Um, you, you, you know what, what I, um, well, like it, it got canceled due to, due to high winds or whatever. And you know all about that. Yeah. I know all about that. <laughs> and it sucked. And everybody's part of me is just like, man, like, you know, that sucks for them. Fuck, suck, suck, it sucks. It sucks. sucks for them. Sorry. You know, that just it sucks. But, you know, shout out to all the bands though. Like I know like census fell, um, like scrambled to get a show <laughs> put together. They, they ended up uh, performing with like Anthony green and some other artists, um, All American Rejects put on a like a show at like some barbecue restaurant, like a free show. Hawthorne Heights That's put on a ass. free show. Um, uh, Knock Loose and Bring Me the Horizon put on a show. So like, like you know, they still put on shows, and most of these bands put on free shows. You know, and then at that too, like I said, like they're still today, like you know that the festival is actually going on today. Like I think the the doors actually opened already. So I mean, that's pretty cool, you know. But like, I was like, damn, I, I heard that news. I was like, that sucks. Like people paid all that money for the tickets, traveled all the way to Las Vegas just to be told an hour before the doors open that it's canceled. Like, oh, that sucks. But yeah. I mean, good for the bands. You know, most of the band. Well, I mean, shit, there was a shit ton of bands. So I don't think like all of them could have nah, done nah, it. But all of them. <clears throat> you know, good for those that were trying to at least you know put on some last minute shows for for the fans and stuff mm-hmm. like that. I mean, plus it's Vegas, so. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of them were able to find some type of venue or somewhere to go. Yeah, and I, th- I think and I think the biggest one was Bring Me the Horizon because Paramore and My Chemical Romance aren't going to put on like a like a like a show at a small spot. You know, yeah, that, that's you just know, gonna that, that's kind of routed. That's kind of you know shitty, I guess you can say. But you know, I mean, I would at least think maybe at least Paramore. You know, but yeah. again, you know, it's Haley Williams, so I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure she's you know you know big headed now. You know. <laughs> I, I used to be a Paramore fan with, I think, the first two or three albums, and then after that, I was just kind of, no, thank you. <laughs> you know, but, yeah, it is yeah. what it is. And then especially with My Chemical, too. I mean, it's so weird with My Chemical Romance, how big they are and how few albums they have. And that, too, like... And the main album that everyone really goes to is The Black Parade. I know, and... It's I the mean, one I always hear about. And the thing is, too, like, I mean, you knew, like, you knew me, like, back in high school, like, I love... I mean, we love my chemical romance, like, you know, uh, um... What does it call it? Uh, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, and then... Yeah. I, forgot, I forgot what the first album was, you know, like, we're, like... We're, like we listened to them ever since then and like I, I actually fell off from listening to them when Black Parade came out because I was like, ah, oh, you know, like, I kind of moved on, whatever. And then they, like, that's, like... And then they broke up, and then like, and then they became popular. You know, like everybody, like everybody, kind of missed what they couldn't have anymore. And I don't know. It's just kind of like, I, I'm very much like a grumpy kind of uh, like music fan when it comes to stuff like that. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm just like, I, I, I don't know. Um, well, they also did that one album, Danger Days. Yeah, <clears throat> but which wasn't that great. It's funny though because they only list uh, three other albums on the internet, and like you said, there is a. Um, one album before uh, Three Cheers mm-hmm. uh, for uh, Sweet Revenge, and it's weird that they only, only named three other albums. But anyway, yeah, and you know that's what I'm saying, dude. I mean, despite them having four but three big albums, um, you know, it, it, they're not like bands like that still do tours, still make albums, and like are still doing small venues. Mm-hmm. You know, for instance, uh, Hawthorne Heights, uh, Silverstein, Silverstein Census Fail, Under Oath, Under Oath. Uh, the U's, you know, the U's are, are still doing, you know, they're not doing small venues, they're not doing big, ven- yeah. uh, big arenas, but they're doing mid venues, you yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. uh, you know we saw them at Port uh, Port Tegan, which it was a pretty big place, but it wasn't yeah. like huge, yeah, you know, and it was still pretty good to see them there, um, you know, and they still do festivals and stuff like that too as well, but you know that's what I'm saying, like you know, my chemical for me was like they they weren't that, you know, 
great. Yeah, they had a few good out. Al- I mean, they had some good albums. You know, I mean, the two ba- the two main ones. I'm very much a believer in the fact that like people like them because it's a cool thing to like. People like them because they're like, oh, I like emo music. I like my Chemical Romance. It's kind of like when people say like, oh, I like metal music. I like um, you know, System of the Down or. Uh, like Slipknot or something, you know, like it's just because like that's like the only thing they know, you know. Tool. That's the only, yeah, like that's the only thing they know because it's like the general, you know, like I guess like. And there's a lot too with with the radios. Oh, yeah, you know, Tell you to listen to pretty much because it's yeah. all they fucking play, and especially if you're living in here in San Antonio and all you have is fucking Kiss. Oh God, I fucking hate Kiss. Oh, oh yeah, it's played. Dude, they they they've been around for so long and. They still have the same stupid fucking music all the goddamn all time. The time. Yeah, you know, and you're talking about you want to go and rant here in a little, a little bit about <laughs> some stuff. I'm gonna go rant right now, dude. Go for it, dude. Fucking like, we need a good rock station here in San Antonio. I mean, <clears throat> something that's gonna play some up to date metal, some up to date hardcore bands, and then you know maybe even like a alternative uh, station that's gonna play you know some of the new like um, emo stuff, pop punk stuff, you know, or even just punk and ska stuff in in general because like. I mean, there's so much out there, and then we only got fucking Kiss, dude, that they're still fucking playing Pearl Jam, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Black Label Society. You know, Black you know. Label Society, Mudvayne, you know. Yeah, these were bands that were fucking badass and good. And at that, too, they played the know, same song. In the 90s, yeah, and, like, they don't even play some of their new shit either, mm-hmm. dude. Like, I mean, Slipknot, they, you know, they only play Duality, and it's like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, that is true. That's, all, all, that's, that's the that's only, only song, fucking song ever here is Duality. Hear is duality. It's like, what the hell, dude? They have, they've had more, more, like, four other albums after uh volume three mm-hmm. you know so it's like dude like update your shit already man yeah like, god damn yeah the san antonio like rock kind of radio scene is is, is very much and like, everybody wants to blame it like oh what's the old school rockers was it like you know the old school rockers still go to fucking concerts mm-hmm. and you know jam out for instance we did see some old dudes at fucking census fail and rise against yeah, yeah yeah and they were fucking getting down like a motherfucker yeah and we know we fucking got hit from behind all hard yeah and it's like, come on, man. Like, up your shit already, dude. Like, like you know, redo your playlist, your library and yeah. shit. Yeah, and, like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, like it's kind of generalized when people say, like, you know, people ask me, what kind of music do you like? Oh, I like rock. Oh, like, like you like Susan with the Devil? No. I mean, <laughs> yes, I guess so. But no, like, I, like, it's not just that. Like, there's so many different, like, I guess you want to call it subcategories, which, which could also be annoying, too. But it's just like, no, like, there's so much more than that, you know? It's just, but it's just like, that's all you're given. That's all you're fed. And like I said, too, like, with my chemical romance, you know, I, I'm, I'm, again, I'm very much a believer that people just, that the reason they got famous, and not famous, but the reason they're so big now, and the reason, like, all their shows are sold out, mm. it's not because of fans that were there when, 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 you know, when they started out. It's because of people after the fact of, like, oh, yeah, like, I like that kind of music. I like, um, I like, um, uh, Blood Black Parade, you know, like it's just like that's not their only fucking yeah, album, you know. For sure, and at that too, it's it's that one song. What's the song? Is it the Black Parade the song or what's the what the 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 main? Yeah, Black Parade. Black Parade. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like <laughs> I don't know. It's just like it, it's such a turnoff, you know. So it's to the point where like to the point where it's just like or welcome to the Black Parade. Whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> so the point where it's just like I don't even like care anymore, you know. Like I don't even, and I hate to say it, like as much as I love and you know, and I wish. You know, and I'm I'm happy that the band has got, gained a lot of of, of uh, you know success and everything. But again, like I said before on the show, Turnstile, like, like it it's gone to a point in this day and age where like so many bands get famous off of TikTok, and then I'm, I wouldn't say bands, but just like their music. Yeah. But it's just because out of <clears> like <throat> a couple songs that are posted, you know, uh, one thing I one thing I could uh <clears throat> I could um think about is Deftones. Uh, they have this song. Fuck, what's it called? Yeah, and that's another fucking band. Fucking Kiss always plays just from uh, uh, the first album and the uh, White Pony album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, it's always either My Own Summer or, uh, or um, oh, what's the one? Um, oh, God damn it. I had it. So was it? Uh, <laughs> uh, the one, it, the, the, you hear it like fucking almost everywhere. Oh, um, Changing? Change? Change, yeah. Change, yeah. Oh yeah, no, uh, 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 um, Cherry Waves. That's another song that like, that like, um, it it got famous because of TikTok, you know, and like that people just use a snippet of it because it's just like it's a trend, you know, it's a fucking trend. Yeah. Like, people hop on, they're like, oh yeah, I like I like Deftones, I like that song I heard on TikTok. Like, fuck off, you know, like, I like, 
like I'm I I I I hate TikTok. Like and I yeah, I'm on it. I scroll through it. I'm 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 part of the say, I'm, I'm, fucking I'm part of the shit. problem. But I just like I hate these stupid trends. I really do. Like and it pisses me off because it's just like, like I don't know. I just feel like I'm a I'm a grumpy, angry fucking yeah no like bastard. You know <laughs> like you know. So quick quick a uh, little thing. Uh, uh, you know speaking of TikTok, um, a friend of mine sent me a. Um, uh, actually, our neighbor uh, sent me a <clears throat> video from TikTok um, about. I, I'm, I'm assuming this was the producer who was uh, helping producing the uh, the uh, System of a Down uh, Toxicity album, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and he was talking about the, the the main song Chop Suey, which was like their first single off of that album. And at the uh, at the end, there's this uh, a bridge in in the song that. Apparently, Serge had nothing written for it. Like, he could not come up with anything for that part. Mm-hmm. So, the guy told him, all right, well, you know what? Um, go up to my bookshelf. First book you see, pull it out. First, you know, just open it up. First line you see, let's use that. And that's the part that uh, where he's screaming, uh, father. <laughs> you know, in, in that whole... Yeah, but it's it's all from some book that he got from the producer's uh, bookshelf. bookshelf. <laughs> so I was like, oh, and it, it's weird though because we were talking about it last night, and it's like it fits so well. Like you wouldn't even think that that was just like mm-hmm. you know something from a book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, um, <clears throat> you know, music scene's weird these days, and um, you know, like it. it I don't know. I guess. I guess maybe too. Like, and I, I'll be the first to admit it. Maybe I'm just bitter because I'm. I can't go see these bands. You know, like that. I can't go see it because like it's so infiltrated. You know, it's so, you know, like infiltrated with like just, mm-hmm. just like people. Okay, and you know what? Let me bring something up here too, real quick. Uh, so when I went to go see uh, Blink One Eight Two during the uh, California tour, uh, when they had, you know, first came back and they brought in Matt Skiba to replace Tom DeLonge. Um, I had bought tickets for that concert, and I ended up winning tickets at the same time mm-hmm. uh, from this alternative station that we did have that would play some pretty good music. And um, part of the package was that we got to see the band uh, do their um, sound check, sound check, and um, got to meet the band. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you know, let me take. I had bought the um, the vinyl album of, the, of uh, for California, mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, let me see if, if they'll sign it. And so we. You know, we see the sound check, and then we get we go into the line. <clears throat> of course, as being the winners, there was a few of us. Um, we were the last to see Blink One Eighty Two. You know, before you know, we had to go back out and stand in line and then come back in. Mm-hmm. And um, the tour manager is like, "What are you gonna do with that?" And I was like, "You know, well, I want to see if it was okay if I can get it signed by the band. You know, if if it's if it's not a big deal." No, you can't do that, this and that, you know, it's going to take too long. And I'm like, well, I'm like one of the last people here, you know, and yeah. I don't see why I would. And he goes, you can't take that in with you. It's like, okay, cool, whatever, that's fine. Well, to fucking find out that they allowed this fucking dipshit, you know, who probably <laughs> has like fucking money, whatever, to propose to his fucking girlfriend while yeah. meeting the band. I'm like, y'all going to allow that, you know, that took fucking forever you know, because they're probably taking the pictures. You know, he has to get down on the fucking mm-hmm. knee and as, propose. As opposed to 30 seconds. And 30 or... seconds of like, hey, guys, can you sign this real quick? Which I'm pretty sure the band would have been like, oh, hell yeah. You know, mm-hmm. here you go. And we could have taken a picture with it and everything. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, I was just, I was fucking kind of pissed off about that. It's but all then, about money. But then I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm here. I got to meet the band. You know, yeah. it's it's better than nothing. And mm-hmm. I, I got the pictures and everything. Yeah, too, yeah, so. yeah. But. You know that that was just kind of like shitty. I thought that was just real shitty. Yeah, and at that too, I'm, I'm, and, I'm more than sure it wasn't the band. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was the tour manager that that was his call, wasn't it? And I wanted to talk shit too to the singer of uh, <clears throat> the All American Rejects because uh-huh. he was there and he was skating through, mm-hmm. and it was kind of funny what he was saying. He was just like skating through, and he's like, "Oh, hello, rich kids. Hi, rich kids." Because you know, it's probably you know because they bought. Those yeah, tickets, yeah, yeah. you know, spend a lot of money for to to you know do all that. Mm-hmm. Whereas a few of us that were there, we were there as contest winners. Yeah, yeah. And I went into yelling, "I'm like, not all of us are rich. We were able to get this opportunity." <laughs> I would have been like, "I'm not rich. I want this on the radio." <laughs> you know, but I, I I didn't snap at first too. It wasn't. Then when he came back and he said it again, he goes, 
hey, rich kids, it's <laughs> naughty rich kids. And then I was just like, oh, shit, that's the singer from That's kind of cool. Like, I, I kind of like that, that he's like going out like, oh, you fucking rich kids. Yeah. Like, you're only here because you're fucking rich, you know? Like, <laughs> So I thought that was pretty funny. But, yeah, that, that was one of my fucking uh, things with that. Like, you know, I've, I've met, like, Atmosphere, and he fucking hoist me up and mm-hmm. took pictures with me and everything. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know? So. Yeah. Moving on. Yeah, moving on, moving on, <laughs> moving on. I was trying to, trying to get on some to some more rants. Um, so I'm trying to think of what we should go on to next. You know what? Let's just, let's just get this out of the way, okay? Let's just get this. Let's just do Endor real quick because okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> I really don't remember it. Okay. Well, I mean, so, there's not really much. Yeah, which is why I feel to say. I mean, it's... it. I mean, I think the last <clears throat> last episode we filmed, you know... How like, many more episodes are there? Um, We're going up to 12. Right okay. now we just did seven. seven. Cool. And also too, I know that in the last episode that like these season is structured like three episode arcs, you know, bam, bam, you know, boom, bam, bam, boom, which was very much the case for the first six episodes. Um, and so the next, I think, I think they said that this next one, the episode seven that we just watched, kind of, kind of like a little standalone little episode, and then we get into another like three episode arc, so it'd be eight, nine, ten, and then eleven, twelve. The last two are like their own, you know. So I, I mean, I, you know, uh, you take it for what it is. But like I said, uh, I, I, I'm very much enjoying the show. Um, I know you're not into this, and I will say the same thing about House and Dragon. If you're not watching these shows with subtitles, I don't know what you're doing because I think the last one I did, it's <clears> like I had to, like yeah, especially with House of Dragon because of all the like the names and like, doesn't that like like you're like like wait what what like so yeah. like that's why I like you know like if, like I I highly suggest watching Andor and House of Dragon with subtitles. But yeah, I mean I'm very much enjoying Andor. Um like I said there's not really much to say yet because like I said, we you know we just we just got <clears throat> episode seven. You know, um it, it's it's good. I think it's like one of the smartest written shows. Again, and <clears throat> you can go off in your little rant for this because I know this was one of them that you wanted to. Still starting a little too slow for me. Still a little too slow for me. Um <clears throat> I did like what we got in the s- not this last episode, but the one before it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the heist. Uh, with the heist. That was really fucking badass. Uh, and then it kind of slowed down again for me, this one, which is why I wasn't paying attention too much to it. But <clears throat> I guess. See, the thing is, though, like, yeah, like, but, it, it is slow, but there's, like, drama in what's going on. Like I was a little weirded out of the vacation place that he chose. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, like, that one scene where it has Mon Mothra and she's talking, like, to her childhood friend. And they're, like, at the party. And she's basically telling them, like, look, like, like. All this what I'm doing is like is a front, you know, like it's all a front. And she keeps telling him like smile, like like, like yeah. you know, like don't make it look obvious. Hey, well, both of them were kind of telling each other. Yeah, and I thought that was so good. I was just like I was on the edge of my seat. I'm like, oh damn, like she's like that's oh, it's so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm very much enjoying this show. Uh, I can't wait. For, you know, I I I think it, I think it'd be cool for I us. I am liking the intensity that it's building up mm-hmm. for I guess the last maybe few episodes. Yeah. So uh, that I'm really enjoying. And again, you know, I, I guess this is why a lot of people didn't like Rogue One and why I liked this because it was a different perspective in the universe of Star Wars. Like, it wasn't just all about the uh, Jedis mm-hmm. and, you know, the, the Skywalker saga and stuff yeah. like that. This leaned more into the, um, you know, all the spy stuff, the rebellion and mm-hmm. things like that. Like, what other people were going through uh, against <clears throat> the Empire yeah, and yeah. the stuff that uh emperor palpatine was you know enduring you know onto the galaxy yeah and that's what i liked about rogue one and, and you know which is what i was excited for with with andor because we were actually going to see how he actually got involved with the rebellion and yeah stuff like that and not only that but it's also showing like the um the goings on with the empire as far as the isb which is the imperial security uh, branch or breach or something like that. Yeah. And uh, like, it's showing like there's even drama in there, you know, like it's like you're following this character, Deidre, who's like, you know, like there's like, it's just like, I don't know. It's just so good. Like they're showing like that, like they're making you sympathize with her, even though she's part of the empire and like, she's probably gonna be one of the bad characters, but like they're still making you sympathize with her as far as that, like she's trying to build a name for herself in, in you know, as, as an Imperial officer, but like she has to step over toes and like, she has people kind of like going after her. And it's just like, you know, it's it's so good. Like it's it's it. I don't know. Like I said, like it's probably one of those. And it sucks too because I heard that, um, like the show in itself, as far as like ratings, isn't doing all that great. 
which again it's understandable but it just sucks because like yeah like it show <clears throat> this show again the show is just very very smartly written the dialogue is amazing yeah there's not a lot of action yes it is it is slow but that doesn't mean it's not good it doesn't mean that it's not like a story you know like there's so much stuff going on in the dialogue and if you just like you know if you just kind of like take it in and like you know just take it for what it is like, it's really good you know but it just sucks that people don't really give it that chance because it's not action it's not lightsabers it's not jedi it's not you know this and that like it's just like come on man like i think this show far exceeds boba, boba fett and obi-wan kenobi i would say definitely uh obi-wan yeah i mean I, as, as much as i love obi-wan and stuff like that but i mean again that one went by way too fast and <clears throat> like there wasn't too much storytelling there was Pretty straightforward. Yeah, what, I mean, going on. granted, the stuff we got Obi Obi Wan and, and Anakin, yeah, that was amazing. But it's just like again, like I, I I like this kind of storytelling that they're doing in Andor. I think it's it's just really good. Um, and then again, like we mentioned earlier, tonight we're getting the season finale, House of Dragon. Um, show's good, man. Show's so good. <laughs> uh, I will say though, if I had to say one gripe is the whole time jumps thing. And not because, like, I, like... Now, I'm not saying it... Uh, um, the only reason that kind of uh, bothers me is because, like, you know, stuff happens and we kind of, like, you know... Um, you know, we get set up with these characters and then, like, with time jumps, like, oh, like, I was just kind of getting used to that. I want to see more with those characters, this and that, you know? Yeah. But as a, you know, as the season's gone on and now that we're, like, at the end of the season, like, I don't mind it no more because it's just, like, now to see where we're at now... Like, it's amazing. Um, you know, the last episode was all dedicated to the Greens, you know, Allison. And, uh, bro, how, how how uncomfortable were you with that with that scene, uh, the last episode with the with the creepy feet guy? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was weird. I was like, what is she doing? <laughs> and then realized, like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and then my wife's like, he should, he, he's got a foot fetish. Like, oh. Gross, <laughs> dude, and like not only that, but like again, I like you, just I was like, I bet you Eddie's loving this, <laughs> no. uh, but like, uh, uh, like, um, like Olivia Cook, her acting, or like just the like she turns to the side and she like looks away, you can just tell like the shame and, and the disgust in her face, you know, that like this is what she has to do to kind of like you know get like information out of Laris, you know, Laris Strong, and it's just yeah, so good. All right, so uh, before we continue on, I just opened up another beer here. I'm, I'm hoping you grab the next one, too, because you could fill it up with that one and that one. Uh, so it's another, again, it's another Oktoberfest. This one's called an October. Another one. October Rust. And this is another Mars and Ale. This is from um, Aldebert's Brewing in Austin, Texas. Uh, this one runs at a, boo, 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 boo. let's see, where does it say here? I think it says it on here. Do you think it says it on here? Nope. Nope. But it's probably around six, six one. Yeah, six. it's got to be. Most of them are usually around that. Because <clears throat> this one, that other one that we're going to drink, I'm going to pull it away out here. Oh, that one is. Uh... Damn, I can't see it. But yeah, usually those run about six something. Yeah. But it is an Oktoberfest, nonetheless. But yeah, uh, so six, this is six four. Ooh, well, wow. okay. So then this one's got to run about at least like, I mean, because this is a rust. So see how it goes. And I mean, the can is pretty intimidating itself in itself. Like most of the uh, Oktoberfest, you always get the the colorful blue and white um, design on the can. Um, <clears throat> you know, you know that's which you know the, I guess represents the colors. But this one comes in in a fucking black and red. So. You know, that's a little pretty intimidating for me. So I'm, I'm going to put the uh, brewery part out if you want to put the uh, name of the uh, beer out. Um, yeah, I got that too. It's not even labeled October 1st. It's, 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 it's October, October Rust. Rust. And it's, I mean, it's a Mars and L, which, which is, an, you know, that is an October 1st beer. So, yeah. Um. And which I believe <clears throat> in the October fest, you know, you, you either get the Marzen or the Fest beer, and the Fest beer is a little bit more golden, whereas the uh, the uh, Marzen is a little bit more uh, copper looking color. As you, you know, Eddie will show you here in a little bit. You know, that's yeah, a thing of beauty right there. Yeah. 
So here we go again. And kick you. Boom. Bang. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh that, one. <laughs> that one's good. That one is good. <laughs> it doesn't have that sweet, Mm-mm. that sweet and sweetness to it. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the uh, Panther Island one was pretty good. It's pretty, you know, full, but it's different. Yeah, this one hit. This one definitely hit different. So, <clears throat> as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. All right. So, Andor, we're enjoying. We're loving it. How's the dragon? Definitely enjoying. You're definitely loving it. Last one tonight. I'm really sad about that. Um. You know something I didn't enjoy. Don't you say it. I, Don't you say it. Dude, I did not enjoy She-Hulk. <sighs> and, okay. I'll give you the 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 two <clears throat> before the Daredevil episode. Yeah, or like the wedding and like the, the therapy thing. Yeah. The thing is, okay, we, I, last time we on the show, we talked about the Dare, Daredevil. Excuse me. Uh, the Daredevil episode, which was probably the best episode of of the series. And then we get the finale. Um, and and again, this is spoilers. If you haven't watched She Hulk, you know, like this, and spoilers, and there is a lot of spoilers because the, the the direction they go in this episode is just like, like completely left turn. Um, and thing is, like, the whole like breaking the fourth wall, like breaking, you know, like going into the Disney Plus like app, going into well, the, let, let let's talk the beginning first. Okay. So <clears throat> hated it. <laughs> so obviously in the uh, Daredevil episode, um, man, you know what? I should have had like the names of the episodes on here. Anyways, the uh, episode where Daredevil finally made his appearance and everything, um, we get where you know she's like pretty much hulks out at the end. You know, yeah, like, she cause... pretty much hulks out at the end, um, and <clears throat> kind of <it clears throat> just kind of suddenly ends there. Yeah, yeah. Know? So this um, this episode, you know, which is which is titled uh, "Whose Show Is This," um, and uh, "Whose Show Is This Anyway" or something something like that, uh, starts I, off with. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I'm gonna just go straight for it. I mean, I loved the in- entire episode, and I'll I'll start I'll start it off here, like you're about to say. It starts off uh, with the mon- with the um, how would you say like. With the and, and with an homage to the original Hulk. Yeah, with the Lou Ferrigno. <clears throat> the Lou Ferrigno um, Hulk, you know, the the whole intro. Was it like know, a 70s, 80s show? Se- it was 70s, late 70s, early 80s. Yeah, so like kind of like that 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 80s kind of television feel, like the intro, like uh, like pretty much like just narrating. Yeah, and narrating like, like uh, you know. You don't want to see me when I'm angry. Yeah. And <laughs> that was just like, what the hell's going on? Like, <laughs> you know, which I, I, I thought it. I, thought, I used to watch it, you know, a few of the, 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 mm-hmm. the Hulk series back then. I, I wasn't like super dedicated to it, but I used to watch some of it. Yeah. Not realizing what it was at the time because mm-hmm. I was little. But, <clears throat> you know, I, I would watch it. And, you know, I as soon as it, it, it came on, I was like, oh, shit, this is the. Uh, the intro to the original Hulk series. Yeah, and um, I thought that was pretty funny. You know, I thought that was a good, a good little nod. Um, and then you know, the episode goes on to just like where she wakes up in in prison. Um, you know, her uh, she ends up kind of like um, putting on that uh, that device uh, that where she can't. She takes a deal. Yeah, she takes a deal. <clears> puts the device turns, where she can't turn to She Hulk. Um, she loses her job. She loses her apartment, you know, like she's kind of like, you know, run out of her apartment by the reporters. She moves back in with her parents, you know, like, and it's just like everything's just going to shit for her, you know. Um, she, she can't you know, even get her own room because you got the treadmill in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then her and Nikki are trying to figure out like the whole uh, like intelligentsia thing, you know, um, you know, um, uh, um, uh, Jen, you know, she pretty much uh, like well, tr- tries to seek help from a. Uh, from Emil Blonsky, you know, abomination. <clears throat> she goes back to the retreat, uh, to the to his like a uh, little ranch or his retreat thing. Yeah. Um, Nikki, on the other hand, is trying to like kind of infiltrate the uh, intelligentsia. See what's you know, going uh, on. She gets an invite to like a like a uh, little what do you call it like um, like a get together, you know, with all the intelligentsia people. Uh, she ends up sending um, Pug, you know, yeah. as as you know, like her you know decoy or whatever. I thought that was pretty funny where he's all like, yeah, you know, females or something, you know, like, and has a little earpiece, whatever. Like, I thought that was pretty fun. That was pretty funny. 
and then it and then things just start kind of like kind of like just kind of meshing together in a weird way like uh like abominations there and at first i was confused like wait is he is he a part of it but i was like no he's not because what he's just pretty much doing is he's just like giving it a, 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 a um a uh like um motivational like he's a motivational speaker yeah he doesn't, he doesn't know what this thing is he's just there to be a motivational speaker um and then we even get a few um name drops in this whole um convention thing whatever it was uh because you know it's all dudes you know they're all bitching and complaining about you know super heroines uh which are female superheroes and i one of the names they named up was like Phew. Like Jane Foster, oh, yeah, <laughs> Lady Thor, Lady like Thor, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I it, was like, oh, well, there's our first nod to the Thor movies. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's basically just mirroring what's going on with the show in general. Like, as far as like online, like just you know, you get those shit asses out there. They're just complaining about female superheroes and like, oh, why do we need a She Hulk? We already have a Hulk, and blah blah blah. It's yeah, just like, and then like, it's pretty much poking po- po- fun at all that. It took it took Hulk this long to finally you know get everything together and to become you know the Hulk he is now. You know, and for her, she, it just happened real quick. It's like, yeah, you know? it's pretty much poking fun at those assholes. You know, which is you know again, I thought that was smart. They they, they kind of like knew that was gonna happen and it, it happened and they're you know it's going on in the show. All of it was pretty smart. Um. And then of course, like you know, of course Todd. And I don't know if you, I don't know if you know if, if you caught on to this. The dude, do you know his names? John Bass. No, the, the, <clears throat> in the show, his name is Todd Phelps, and it's supposed to be like a. <laughs> that's supposed to make fun of Todd Phillips for some reason. <laughs> what? I don't know why, but they're like it's like a Todd Phelps. Like it's just like they're making fun of Todd Phillips for some reason. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I didn't. I didn't. That's like that's like they're like poking fun at Todd Phillips for some reason. I'm just like leave Todd Phillips alone. <laughs> leave him alone. Um, what are they poking at him just because he made a good Joker movie? Or? I don't. I don't know, dude. I don't know because that's how everybody's saying like, oh, Todd, like like a like poking fun at Todd Phillips. I'm like, why though? Like I don't understand. Like it's like, what did he do? You know? Um, and um, so yeah, and then um, yeah, we you know Todd is is the Hulk King, which I mean, come on, we saw coming from Holloway. He ends up having her blood, you know. Um, I, don't, I don't even remember how he got her blood. Uh, it was that one dude that she went on a date with. That was like, which we days. never saw again. Yeah, we never. We saw never saw it again. again. So that's one thing. That's <clears throat> one thing right there. I think she. I think the way he got it was when she was in her human form, because mm-hmm. you know the. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, so then he, you know, injects himself. Trying to become a, 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 a Hulk, he's like, "Come at me, bro!" Just like <laughs> the bro Hulk, <laughs> and, and then you know, and then uh, and then Hulk comes to the door. Oh, and no, then, first and, we get uh, what's her name? Um, um, oh, uh, what's her name? Uh, fucking Titania. Titania. Which I was just like, "What the fuck is she doing there?" And then you get Hulk coming through the door, and he's fighting Abomination. Well, he comes, like, from the fucking Oh, yeah, room. from the roof. And then, like, and you got Abomination, and they're fighting, and Abomination's like, no, is that what you think? It's and it's just like... Think. And at the same time... And, which was funny, though, too, because, like, they made Abomination super huge, and Hulk was, like, all tiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just, like, I'm just saying, sitting there, I'm like, what the hell is, like, what the hell is going on? And then, like, I'm watching the show, I'm like, what? And then, like, even Jen's all like, what's going on? Like, this doesn't <laughs> make no sense. And she pretty much just, like, stops it. Like, just Jen attracts, goes to the menu of Disney Plus. And I'm like, wait, what? Like, and in that sense right there, it kind of reminded me because I know, like, you know, she's supposed to be, you know, breaking the fourth wall and whatnot. But when she did that, and like, kind of, kind of did like the timeout, you know, mm-hmm. she, she didn't really say timeout, but kind of like, what's going on? Kind of stopped <sighs> it. It kind of reminded me of like Zach Moore's going timeout, and he would stop everything and break the fourth wall, and mm-hmm. like, what's going on here? What's the, you know, blah, 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 and it would change things. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of reminded me of that, you know. So then, you know. From there, we just get her to go way beyond the <sighs> and, and I like that. I, I, I thought it was really cool. It was enjoyable. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep going with what happens in the episode, and I'm going to just tell you how I feel about it. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll continue going. She breaks the fourth. You know, she she, she goes into Disney+. Plus. She goes into the uh, 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 Assemble kind of series where they do the behind-the-scenes stuff. She makes her way onto the Disney property. Goes into the writers' room, talks to the writers, and they're already talking about Kevin. And which, all it is, is the actual place. It's the actual. It's yeah, the actual yeah. Disney. Yeah. The writers' room she went into is the actual writers' room where 
it was the actual writers of the show. Like it wasn't. Yeah, just, like the actual writer of this episode, she was in there, but yeah. she, she didn't do the talking. Uh, but actress. apparently, all of them were part were mm-hmm. part of that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone in there is like they're who the they writers. are. Yeah, you know, they're not actors or anything. They were actually in the fucking. Which yeah. I thought was pretty cool because you actually get to see the people with some of the people behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then they're not talking about like the, not just the directors and producers. And they're saying like, oh, like, just, like she's like, why is it we doing this? And they're like, oh, this is the ending that Kevin wanted. And if you again, if you watch the subtitles, it it is Kevin in uh, what do you call it? Um, abbrevi- acronyms. Acronyms. You know, K I V E N, like capital dots, whatever. And so right away, I'm like, oh, so it, it like yeah, it you're talking about Kevin Feige, but it's it, it's not gonna be Kevin Kevin Feige. It's yeah. gonna be like a like a robot or something. Sure enough, that's what it was. You know, she goes in. It was a big old camera. Robot. Yeah. Wait, did you notice know, you know his little hat? Too? Yeah. So, <laughs> I was like, what? so if you don't know Kevin Feige in real life, uh, every time you, you he's see the, him, he's he, always he's the boss. A hat. The boss. He's the the big boss of the Mar- of the MCU. He's always wearing a hat. Uh, I mean, even before she goes into uh, his <clears throat> office to, to meet Kevin into his office, you know, she comes up to the the desk. Uh, the desk you know, apparently that's like the same desk. That's same the, desk. The same Iron Man thing yeah. that they have. The, waiver uh, the, room. the guy that 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 makes her sign a waiver. Uh, NDA. Uh, you know the NDA waiver is the actual guy that works there and, <laughs> and makes people sign NDA waivers. Yeah. And then and, like and then she has like a fight scene with like security, which is kind of like a nod to uh, Iron Man Two. I, I was just gonna yeah. say that. I mean, I was like looking. I was like, this looks like. Uh, Natasha, yeah. you know, Black Widow fighting in Iron Man 2. Yeah, <laughs> which I didn't catch that when I first watched it, but I listened to reviews and I was like, oh, I, was like, I didn't really catch that. That's pretty cool. I got um, that real quick. And then and then she meets Kevin, which, you know, she goes <clears> to this <throat> room, has a bunch of screens, playing all the Marvel movies. And then, like, she talks to Kevin. Oh, and during this whole thing, she's in her She Hulk form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> and then that's that, okay. That part was pretty funny. Where she's, or like she, uh, Kevin's like, okay, I talked to you, but you know, can you change back to Jen? She goes, okay. It, and, he goes, and, and he's all like, wait, can you change back to Jen off camera? Because it's kind <laughs> of expensive. And then, and then he, he's all like, because and also too, our uh, our visual effects team is working on something else. And they look at She Hawk and it plays like the Black Panther kind yeah. of music. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> okay. And so she changes. And then, like, she's just like, kind of just like talking with Kevin, like, hey, you know, like, what are we doing with our ending? You know, like, this, like, this is not what, you know, blah, blah. And Kevin's like, no, this is kind of like, this is what we have to do. And she goes, pretty much, okay, like, pretty much saying, like, in the title of the show is like, this is my show, you know? And, um, you know, she has some funny jokes here. Like, she's all like, you know, Hulk smashes buildings. And so that, like, I smash fourth walls uh, expectations. And she's like, sometimes Matt Murdock. I'm like, oh, I'm I was like, like oh, oh, shit. And then, <laughs> and then, like, she's over here, like, talking about, like, you know, like, like daddy issues. She's like, you know, you know, Iron Man, daddy issues. You know, like, Star-Lord, daddy issues. And, and then, like, she's talking to her guy. She goes, she goes, when do we get in the X-Men? And she, and she looks at the camera like, thumbs up. I'm like, what, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, what? <laughs> Um, all that, okay, like, I, the only reason why I just wasn't, like, into it was because it was not consistent with what the show has been. And again, in, if you want to do the argument of, like, this is how she is in the comics. She breaks the fourth wall in the comics. This is what she does. In the comics, she even, like, talks, like, <clears throat> in the comics, she even jumps panels and talks to the writers that are writing the comics of, like, this is not what we're doing. I get that. But this isn't, this wasn't consistent with what the whole show has been <clears throat> this this yeah in the it, it, throughout the show she's been breaking the fourth wall but like we got we got those shitty episodes with like with like the wedding where she's like being shitted on the whole time what was going on with that i have no idea she gets the episode where she goes to retreat what was the point of that we, we see that dude that she sleeps with we never see him again so it's just like what and then we get this episode where she like breaks the fourth one that like, goes into Marvel and all stuff and just like and at the same time too, like everybody's like, Oh, this is real smart, like of Disney in doing this and doing that. And like that they're being like aware of themselves and it's like, okay, fine, yeah, that's all good and fine. But it's just like it wasn't consistent with what the whole show was. It just felt like it just felt completely out of left field. It felt like it didn't fit into this season at all because the way it even ended, like it just ends. And then we get Hulk coming in with his son and just like, wait, what? Like, that's a big storyline. Like, how are we just going to, like, just introduce that and just be like, okay, we're all good and fine, you know? Like, I don't understand. 
Well, she did kind of mention that in when she was talking to yeah. Kevin. You know, let's save that for the uh, for the end credits in the, in the movie. Mm-hmm. You know, <clears throat> and it was even funny. Like, oh, am I going to be in the movie? And they're like, hey, no. no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> uh, so I thought that was pretty hilarious. The whole X-Men thing, like, you know, giving the thumbs up because everyone's wondering what the hell's going on with X-Men. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I thought that was funny, too. Yeah. Um. You know, yes, I, I get where you're coming from that, you know, this was totally out of left field. This is like not inconsistent at all with what was going on mm-hmm. in the story. But I mean, in 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 reality, other than like the first two episodes, was there even really a plot storyline? There was not. Nah. Really, there was never really a main villain. This was all a, a huge introduction to She-Hulk in herself because, you know, she was already getting backlash even before the show came on. Yeah. Um, you know, there was a lot of, you know, shit talk about, you know, everything that was going that was going to happen in the show. People were already kind of predicting, oh, you know, the abomination is going to be the big bad. Hell no, he was. And he was just a goofy ass motherfucker, mm-hmm. you know, that Wong would, you know, hire as, a, you know, a contender for, you know, yeah, to, yeah. To, to, to help him keep up, you know, with his yeah. skills and stuff like that. Um. But, you know, overall, I loved the show. I enjoyed the show. I thought this was really good. I've actually been hearing opposite of, you know, what you said about, you know, oh, this is like what's going on in the comics. I've been hearing that people were like, this is going too much of what like it's going on in the comics. So it's like, okay, first of all, you, you guys fucking complain that, oh, they're not following the comics consistently, yeah, yeah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. And then when something follows it almost to a T, you're like, this is too much. This is like way just like the comic genre. This is not good. It's like, what the hell is going on? What the fuck you guys? See, and like, <laughs> I'm not saying that like, oh, like it's too much. I'm anything. I'm just saying like, yeah, I get it. This is what she does in the comics. Fine. You know, that's all good and everything. But it's just like, I, I in my personal feel like about the show, I was just like, I was just like this. It just, it, it like, I, I, again, I didn't hate what happened in this last episode with all the everything, like fourth wall breaking. I just like, the simple fact that it's just like, okay, we're doing this. She changes the ending, and then here's the ending, and then there you go. That's it. Like, uh, like, okay, like, I'm just like, well, where do we go from here? And someone made the argument. This episode is titled, well, whose show is this? Whose show is this? Yeah. It's She-Hulk's show. Before we got the fourth wall break, this episode was being very much um, paid by numbers. Um, you get a bad guy. The bad guy, Todd. Steals her blood. Injects himself. You know. And turns into a hawk. <laughs> <hilarious. laughs> oh, bro, come on, bro, come <laughs> at me. <laughs> you know, he looks her- t- terrible. Um, you know, and then again, paint by numbers. You know, like you get like a. But of all a, superheroes, why would you want to be a Hulk? I would not want to be a Hulk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no offense. Uh, you, know. you know, so you get like a Hulk, and then you get like. I think a, Jennifer and, Walters is good. As a Hulk, <laughs> and then you get you know her fighting like another version of herself. You know, like yeah. another version, another version of a Hulk. So paint by numbers, Iron Man. You know, Black Panther did that. Um, uh, I guess I guess you could say um, uh, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I guess in a sense maybe like Winter Soldier, but it did it in a very smart way. Um, like a, a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, um, shows and movies do this, you know. Um, and for Marvel to be like to say, you know to come on and say like, oh yeah, I know, yeah, we we do this a lot, and um, you know. And for Jen to be like, no, like, we're not going to do that. We're going to do it the way I want to do it. And for them to do it the way they want to do it. Yeah, okay, I get it. You know, like, it's like, it's her show. It's what she's going to do, blah, blah, blah. It makes sense. Um, and if you look at it you look at it in that perspective, okay, fine. I, okay, maybe it's a little more forgiving. But it's just like, then what were the point of those other episodes? Like, it's just like, I just feel like it was a giant waste of time. Like, like, and again, too, this is just a show. You know, it's not that big of a fucking deal. It's really not. I'm not losing sleep about it every night. You know, this is a show where we come and talk about, we, we give our feelings about, yeah. you know, stuff that we watch. It's not that big of a fucking deal. It's really not. You know, it's a good show. It's fine. You know, it was, was it the best? Nah. For me? Nah. Was it better than Moonlight? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <clears throat> um, but like, I don't know. Like, I just. I, I definitely thought it was better than um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. You take that back. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not better than Loki. I think out of uh, again out oh, of yeah. all the shows, I think Loki's Loki, surpassed. Yeah, Loki was top tier. Know, yeah, um, <clears throat> but yeah, again, you know, like and you know to continue on with like um, shows that are gonna that that are gonna continue on. I mean, obviously, you know, we 
it seems that we are going to be getting the season two of Moon Knight. You know, Oscar Isaac is, you know, wanting to continue with the character. Um, <clears throat> you know, I really think, you know, I'm going to go like Loki, She-Hulk, Moon Knight, oh. Falcon, Winter Soldiers. And I'm not saying anything bad about Wanted, uh, WandaVision. I thought that was an amazing show in itself, but, you know, that was a one-off. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm not including it with, you know, what are going to get, you know, because obviously uh, Falcon Winter Soldier may not be getting another season, but yeah, those really. characters are moving on to, like, Winter Soldier's moving on to the Thunderbolts, mm -hmm. and Captain America, you know, is getting a Captain movie. Captain America, yeah, You yeah. know, New World yeah. Order, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I'm, if I had to get my top five, it'll be, uh, like, Loki, uh, Miss Marvel, Captain Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, I forgot about Miss Marvel. You know what? I'll do Miss uh, Miss Marvel, then She Hulk. Okay, 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 cool. I, I accept that. I accept that. Is she Hulk number two. I don't know about that. Um, and WandaVision, and then maybe Hawkeye. Uh, minus the minus oh, the whole King, Kingpin too. thing. Yeah. Um, and then, and then some people are also including like, um, I am group. I I I, I didn't watch I that. I haven't seen that either. Um, <laughs> but I mean, before we move on to the next thing, like again, like uh, She Hulk. It was fine. Uh, I'm not I, gonna I, lie. I really thought I was, and this was kind of selfish of me, maybe. But I was really hoping in that one part where she's talking like, "I need to get out of here. I need to figure myself out." Mm -hmm. And she's like, "No, this is not a cry for help. I just need to, you know, mm -hmm. figure shit out or you know, figure stuff out." She didn't say shit, but it's figure stuff out. Yeah. And that's when she goes to Blonsky. I really thought like, because she says something in that part too. I forgot what she says, and I was really hoping like. Like Deadpool would make an appearance, like, like something like now you know how I feel, and then boom, they like, head out, like oh shit, that would have been cool, you know. But you know, again, that was just so much wishful, wishful thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you keep thinking about that now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that that was me like shooting for the stars, because right you know after because it was like this episode came out after we got the announcement about Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, again, show was fine. Um. Was it the best? I don't think it was. Was it the worst? Maybe not. But I just like definitely, I, definitely entertaining for what it was. I'll give it that. It was entertaining, um, and it definitely sparked conversation, which is always a good thing. Um, and then just to kind of <clears throat> reiterate, you know, Hulk coming in with his son, I kind of feel like that was an end credit right there. Yeah, and I, I don't even know where to go with that because I'm just like. And again, what? you know, maybe we're going to get that in uh, in what people are hoping is going to be a Planet Hulk movie. movie maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, where we actually get to find out that's where How that that's where he was. And, you know, he when he meets his son and stuff like mm -hmm. that. I did like, you know, Mad Murdock came back. <clears throat> yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the two. I'm just like, does everybody know he's Daredevil now? Or what is that on? No, yeah. but um, yeah. I mean, again, it's fine. But, um, um, you know, one thing that like, oh, it kind of sucks about Marvel, you know, kind of content when they were, whenever they release stuff out. Which also kind of makes me wonder, I'm sorry for always interrupting you, but kind of makes me wonder too, is like, okay, if they're getting a little serious and with his show coming out, it's like, is she going to kind of make an appearance or? <laughs> Who? She Hulk. Oh. And Who's... his show. Daredevil. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I would like to think she would. I, I, I kind of now, I hope she would. I mean, because it's just like. <clears throat> I mean, they're obviously together, so it's just like, or or is it gonna like be before, be before that? Or, yeah, you know. I don't know. I I don't want to see another origin story. I don't think it's gonna be an origins. I think it, it's gonna. I, I'm thinking it's gonna be like Spider Man. Like we already know mm -hmm. everything that happened. It's he's Daredevil. Yeah. He's got the suit already. So yeah, kind of go from there. Yeah, I'm just really curious if it's gonna be the same kind of like, not like. The same Daredevil, obviously not the same Daredevil, but it's just like kind of like the stuff that he already went through. Uh -huh. If it's like, if he's like, oh yeah, yeah, like yeah, no, I, I fought a guy named Bullseye or something or Electra or whatever. I would hope they would bring Bullseye back. Yeah, that guy was pretty cool. I still gotta watch. <clears throat> I gotta rewatch season three again. Um, but again, like with with Marvel properties, it kind of sucks sometimes. Like where like they put stuff about, and my m one of my immediate and this is their fault. This is their fault. Oh, this is their fault that uh, one of my immediate um kind of questions like well how does this connect to the greater mcu because um i last night i watched werewolf by night the marvel studios special presentation for october which is kind of like their kind of horror thing you know whatever um it was good i i, I liked it i liked it <clears throat> um was it what i was expecting not really but was it 
bad? No. Was it what I was expecting? Sort of. <clears throat> well, because like they kind of like I don't know. They kind of like there were some and things. Nothing, nothing bad. Nothing bad of what like what I was expecting. It was just kind of like predictable for me as far as like you know what they were gonna go, how they were gonna go with it. Uh, I was. I mean, there was like not anything that I was was surprised with, just other than that, um, that it did connect with. It does connect with the MCU. Yeah, and when, when we say that, is pretty much like the I think the director and writer came out and said like, oh yeah, like this, um, like in this universe somewhere out there, Captain America does it, it is around. Um, you know, the heroes that we know and love, they're 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 they will come around. They're they're there, but this is just and like they did mention them in the beginning. They did. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And so yeah, it's just like you know, yeah, you know, they're they're out there, you know. But it's just like this is like its own little kind of pocket thing, which okay, fine, you know. Um, and um, I was hoping for a little more, kind of like a little less. I'll say I was hoping for a little, a little less CGI than what we got. Um, a little more practical because that's what, that's what I was like kind of hoping this would kind of mirror was like old school kind of horror, which we did get like that old man, you know the. Uh, Talking, you know, um, Ulysses. Yeah, uh, that, 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 that talking. Was cool. I, it, I thought that was really, really cool. But then we get, I think, was it Swamp Thing? What's no, that giant the, creature? It's not Swamp Thing. Who it's, is it? Uh, the creature. The creature. Okay, but he was like completely CGI'd. I was like, which, but I, it didn't look bad As for because because of it being in black and white. Yeah, like, yeah I don't yeah. think it looked bad. But it looked CGI'd. Um, but oh, again, wow. that didn't it didn't take me out of it because I actually like what, what was his name Tim or what was his name. She, like they they had his name right. It was um, Sam. Sam, huh? Sam. No, no, the creature. Oh, um, I forget. Remember, he, remember he told he goes, oh yeah, his name is uh, Ted. 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 Yeah, Ted. Yeah, Ted. Ted. Mm. <laughs> and then, yeah, I thought that was pretty pretty cool. But um, and then just, and, just, just, tell him, just talk to him like your old buddies. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, it was fine. It was good. I mean, it was it was a good little watch, one little one hour kind of thing. Um, um. There was one part that just kind of like maybe jump scare a little bit, you know, where it's quiet where they're walking through the maze and like, just like ring. I was like, oh shit, like what? Um, but uh, it, it was fun. It was fun. I mean, um, do I think it's gonna like show up anywhere in the MCU? No, I don't really think it is. I mean, do you think it's like the, any of these characters or any of these things are gonna show up again in the MCU? I would, I would love for it to because <clears throat> the character, the the character in itself, um. The the guy that plays the uh, the werewolf, uh, which is uh, Jack Russell, or that's the name of the the character, uh, but uh, Gil Garcia uh, Bernard uh, Bernard Bernard <clears throat> is the uh, is the guy that plays the werewolf, and um, the werewolf in itself is um, I've I've only seen a few comics. I, I'm pretty sure he's battled some other MCU characters, but one of the ones I've always seen him battle is uh, Moon Knight. Ah, hmm. so it would be kind of cool to see see that you know, that. or or I I would even think that this would even be a good introduction to intro introduce um Ghost Rider again. Oh, okay, I, I was just making sure you're not gonna say <clears throat> say the other B word. Oh, Blade. Yeah, there is a lot of <laughs> shit going on with that to the point where I'm just thinking that's not gonna go. That's not gonna happen anymore. I'm almost I mean, certain and, it's and, not gonna happen anymore. And I'm I'm so pissed off about that. I mean, they they've even already put release dates, even though they they furthered back to dates. They mm-hmm. they furthered back the release date too. But I'm I'm a little disappointed with that too. And, and I'm sure Mahershala Ali is you know. I honestly believe that like he's gonna get so fresh to the point where he's just like I'm just gonna I'm yeah out. I'm out pretty much. And it sucks and too because I was we're gonna have to bring Wesley Snipes again. <laughs> <laughs> No, but um, you know, yeah. So I would, I would love to see these characters come back. Um, they did end up going into uh, color towards the end of the year. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the, cool. The, the, the and I, 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 I love when he woke up and he was all like, "So you want, what do you want to eat?" He goes, "I can't even think of food right now." He goes, uh, "You get sushi." And I, just, I, thought, I, thought, I love their little dynamic because he can't even, he can't understand Ted. But he's talking to him like they're like again like they're pals and he's just yeah, like ah oh, no <laughs> I love I, that I was you, all like I'm always saving you, you <laughs> <never>. <laughs> I was like that's so sweet like I love it um, yeah I would love to see these characters come back I would definitely love to see these characters come back and and, and, and the fact that you know they've already said that yes this is part of the MCU uh, there is connections and the fact that they've always they did mention the uh, other superheroes in the beginning that this is just another world in in the MCU. You know, like the dark world. And 
I would even like to see him, you know, interact if they, if, you know, one, because we still don't even know what's going on with Wanda. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. we don't know if she's coming back or not. What's happening with that character? They never even said if she officially, you know, demised or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think we're good. Okay. And, um, <clears throat> you know, so I. Sorry, I felt like we we're going for like two hours. I was like, yeah, make <laughs> no, sure. no, we're, we're good. Um, and, you know, and plus, you know, we, we started off like two minutes into. All right, right, right. Something, yeah. Um, you know, so I would love to, you know, ha- see, you know, these uh, characters interact with those mystic characters, mm-hmm. you know, like Doctor Strange, Wanda. I would like to see that Moon Knight um, thing, though. That's Moon Knight, you know, I-, I-, I would love to see that, you know. That, I, mean, like, I guess I- the I- obvious I- answer would be Blade, but again, too, like with everything going on with that, I'm just like, I don't even know anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I, w- I, w- I wouldn't. And apparently, to. too, like they had. They had tried to pitch like a scene, like a post credit scene with Blade, but they like the studio was like, no, nah, you know. But you know, again, too, I'm kind of glad they didn't. Again, because with everything going on, if you guys don't know what's going on, like the Blade director dropped out, uh, like the the script and, was, the script is not all that great, or and, it was like I, seven I, pages. And it, it's not to say that this is the first time this is happening. I mean, oh, yeah, obviously, yeah, sure. this is having you know with the Ant Man series. Um, the Avengers, you know, after, you know, the first two Avengers, they dropped Josh Whedon, brought in the uh, Russo brothers. Good riddance. <laughs> that abomination. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know. Yeah, this isn't the first time this has happened. Um, but and- it, it just, you know, prolongs the, the anticipation for those movies or, yeah. you know, whatever, for those characters to come out and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, War of the Night, I thought it was real good, real interesting. It, it was, I think it was shot well. I was a little surprised that it was, you know, just under an hour, yeah, it was short. um, you know, and that, you know, they want to consider this as a one-off. I think they can, I think they can really continue on with this and I would love. I would like to, for them to do like an anthology. Like, I would love to, yeah, I would love to see, you know, more of this. I would, I, you know, I would just like for the characters to kind of pop, pop out here and there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I I think that would be really cool, really interesting, you know. Considering that now that we know these characters, and we're like, oh, they're they're, they're cool, they're awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know? yeah, it was, it was... and and then you know there was the magic, you know, from the the stone, mm-hmm. you know. So that 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 kind of reminded me of um, Wanda, Wanda, you know, and it's you know Doctor Strange and stuff like that. So yeah, maybe we maybe we might get like some maybe we might get like some mention of it in um in um in um, Agatha's series, you know Agatha Christie. You know? That would be awesome. That you know, would she, definitely. She mentions be like, that, oh yeah, like uh, that the, would be. Cool. What's the stone? Uh, oh yeah, the the the, the ancient bloodstone. Like oh yeah, I remember that. That would definitely yeah. be awesome. And you know, it would be cool to see those characters. You know, in that 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 would, they would be a perfect fit for that. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, <coughs> it, it was it was fun. You know, it, you know, don't take it too seriously. I guess you know, it was it was a good little watch. Um. Get a little violent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, the kills in that. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I was a little surprised. I was like, that. whoa. Um, speaking of kills, Stephen. Uh, speaking hold of. On. Let me let me, let me me refill here right, before we get into Speaking that. of kills. Um, so, for those of y'all who don't know, I mean, we. Uh, I think that first. I want to first. Um, Halloween 2018. We, it was me, you, Matthew. Oh. You know. Uh, it was very much not, uh, not a, f- oh, I mean, I didn't hate it at now <laughs> perspective, <laughs> yeah, amazing film, <laughs> you know, like, um, and then I think the last, uh, Halloween kills, I hated that movie. I hated it. I did not like it. Um, evil, evil did not die tonight. Steven did not well, die tonight. It depends on what you're talking about, because <laughs> if you're talking about Michael, uh, and, and, was it Michael Anthony Hall? Yeah, yeah. Then yeah, Evil Dead. Died because, <laughs> <laughs> good riddance. Good riddance, Dude, Steve. I cannot. Like, good riddance. Uh, but we have gotten the uh, third movie from. Um, uh, we have gotten the third movie of Halloween and the uh, new Halloween series, yeah. and I'm on my <laughs> third beer. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> Which is funny because it has a three on there. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, so this one comes, uh, this is another Texas beer, uh, three nations brewing. This one is in, um, I can't even say that. dude. Was it, uh, Carlton, 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 Texas, Carlton, Texas. I can't even see that. 
<laughs> so. <laughs> uh, 6.4. Uh, again, you know, this is this is going to be another uh, cozy Barivian. 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 It's an Oktoberfest. <laughs> yeah, it's an Oktoberfest. Uh, it, for me, it looks like another Marzen. Yeah, definitely is a Marzen. <laughs> uh, so all three of these were all Marzens. Cool. Is it awesome. three, three Nations Brewery? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three Nations Brewery, again, in Carlton, Texas. I don't even know where the fuck Carlton, Texas is. <laughs> yeah. uh, we'll figure that out later. But, you know, again, these are all three Texas Oktoberfest beers. Uh, so I'm going to check this one out, see how it goes. Um so far, I've been enjoying all the ones that we've had, the two that we've had so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and like I said, you know, <clears throat> again, I mean, the, look at the first one we drank and to the last one we drank. Look, look, look at the covers, you know, they, they, they're they blue, white, they're, you know, awesome, you know, hell yeah, we're going to drink some burr, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get mm-hmm. Dark one, Boy, the Dark Boy, but, you know, hey, it was good. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one, I don't see it so far is the best one. So. From Austin, Texas. Um. So this is gonna be our review for um I guess you call it a review. We're not fucking critics or anything. We just give our takes our opinions and, and talk shit about movies. Um about well Wolf for Halloween Ends. Uh the third movie from David Gordon Green. Um and, and written uh, co written by Danny McBride. Danny McBride at this produced, point, produced. At this, at this point, I, I honestly believe Danny McBride is fucking with all of us. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. But um, I, I I love righteous gemstones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. yeah. So for those who don't know, uh, David Gordon Green, the director, he actually directed Pineapple Express. Um, yeah. So I mean, just to give you and, a little... and and if you didn't know, Diana McBride was in that one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so overall, I mean, I know we kind of talked about it, me and you, or uh, you know, with with yeah. our thoughts, or whatever. Um, you know, what what did you what did you uh, what you want you wanted. No. I was, oh. Uh. What, what did you, you know, overall thoughts on the film, and compared to the other ones, what did you think? So it was a little bit of both because I remember for you, I was telling you, um, it's gonna be predictable. It's gonna be totally predictable. Uh, you know, one 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 of two things is gonna happen, which one thing did happen. Um, you know, I, I don't want. I mean, we are gonna do spoilers, but you know, I just don't want to say it just yet. Um. <clears throat> then, um, but as far as the uh, story went in itself, I was a little like, okay, um, this is a little different. Um, this is not kind of what I expected, you know? So, but overall, I mean, eh, just not good. I'm sorry. <laughs> just not good at all. I, I, I was a little cringy. I was pretty much cringy the whole, the whole movie. And not because, like, oh, my God, this what's going to happen? He's going to kill her. Oh, my God, get on her. Die. <laughs> I, was just like, I was just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, so um, I go into this movie, uh, again, uh, for, especially from the last one, not not a lot of um, expectations. You know, like, I hate the last one, so I was like, ooh. okay, you know, this is, you know, how much worse can we get? Uh, and watch this movie finish, and I'm like, Hmm. Again, I was like, "Was that good?" No, I think so. <laughs> was it bad? I, I, no, it wasn't bad. Uh, it's it, terrible. <laughs> um, Sorry. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's sweet. It's so sweet, but it 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 it, it kicks really good. Hmm. Let me finish this. Um. Yes, definitely took some some swings in this movie. Um. I I. Okay, I'll say this. I think this was a good horror movie. Was it a good Halloween movie? No. Horror? No. Halloween? Yes. What? What? <clears throat> no. It was not. There was nothing horror about it. I was not scared whatsoever of like. No, anything. no. I'm not talking about like scary. Well, like, okay, oh. when you say horror, that's what I'm expecting. I want, I want to see horror. I want to be scared. You know, I, that, that's. Okay. We. Me and my wife and my son. I've been trying to watch some movies. We've been watching the Chucky movies. And, like, those are kind of like, like, <laughs> that fucking doll is just fucked up, dude. <laughs> and it just reminds me of, every time I see it, though, I just see Elmo. Like, I can just see fucking Elmo coming in. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> you know, but, you know, and so, like, 
we watched the, the third Child's Play movie, and I was like, they're like, they wanted to watch more horror, and I'm like, oh, like, I wanted to, but at the same time, I was like, I want to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, one of the movies I wanted to see, and I think we'll watch it tonight, is The Witch. I've heard that one. I've heard some mixed reviews. Oh, with about the um, Anna Taylor Joy. I think so. It's like VV Witch. Yeah. Oh, that's a good. Okay, I, I, I'll just. I'm not gonna say anything, but I'll just give you this. It is a slow burn. Okay. But it's fucking good. Okay. It's creepy. But okay, but I know it's from the same person that did Midsummer and uh, Hereditary. Hereditary. Oh. And I liked Hereditary. I haven't seen Midsummer either. Dude, I will say this. Okay, I think what you. I was I, I was surprised when you when because again when you when you mentioned Hereditary, I'm thinking like oh I just I don't I don't want to see it because I I don't like being scared. I don't, but <laughs> yes, I you do. I I don't, but I do, <laughs> and I you know, and when we saw it on, I was not expecting some of the shit that happened. And I was just like, oh, fuck. Like, no way. Like, no. Like, I think Hereditary no. was more disturbing yes. than it was scary. Yes. But, again, disturbing is scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, that's yeah. what I liked about it. Everything in the fucking Halloween, there was a few disturbing things, but they were cringeworthy, not scary-worthy. See, and the thing is, too, because I, th- I think what you're pretty much trying to say is, that, like, it's hard to find a movie that's going to, like, scare the shit out of me, which I... I Totally agree with that. The last movie that I watched that scared the shit out of me, disturbed me, was Hereditary. Um, I have not seen a movie since then. And again, like that, that, that. I mean, we watch horror movies. And at this at, at this point in time, I think horror movies are just kind of like majority of the time they're campy, they're cheesy, they're cringy. You know, it's just like, mm, like. I mean, I did love the fucking beginning of it. I was just like, holy <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, we're going to get more of this. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. And for the longest time, we didn't. And we didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. I, 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 I will agree with you on that. And, okay, and There's what, only two parts in that movie that I like. The very beginning and the part in the junkyard. <laughs> oh, yeah. And at that too. That it, shit was fucked up. <laughs> it wasn't scary. It was just like, oh, shit. Like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I will agree with you in, in, in the sense that, like, yeah, um, it, it wasn't a scary movie at all. I wasn't scared. I didn't jump. Barely any jump scares. Um, it was just more. And what, what did I say to you our last episode when we were like anticipating Halloween kills? I was like, I think these movies are going to fall in line with like the ones that get the sequels and sequels are just like just kind of dumb and dumb and dumb. And it's exactly what we got with this one. I, th- I think that's exact. I, th- I think watch this movie. I was like, and I was like, I was fucking right. We're get- just getting another dumb Sequel to a movie. <laughs> and at that, too, it's just like, well, it's not far off from the regular Halloween movies because um, we get, like, Halloween Curse of Michael Myers where, like, it's like a curse, you know? Like, real stupid, you know, this and that, you know? But those were older, you know? They, were they scary? Probably not, you know? Um, no, because at that point, <clears throat> they got really cheesy, which is, okay. Yeah, and, when Paul and, Rudd came in. <laughs> and which is, was my argument <clears throat> when... The, um, the first Halloween remake came out. Not remake, uh, but the uh, Halloween with Jimmy Lee Curtis. Um, 2018. 2018 one. That they were only going from the, the very first one. I was like, you can start from the second one. At least the second one. That oh, one. Yeah. That was know, good. Yeah, that one was good. You know, because it was the same night. It was the same mm-hmm. night. And, you know, they could have continued on with that one. I don't know why they had to go with, no, we're only going off the first one. It's oh, like, yeah, no, they're not brother and sister. Yeah, that was just a myth. Yeah, and this is like. <sighs> yeah, that's probably one of the things I did not like either is that they, they started off. Because the they even they even kind of like point that out in, in this one, too, is like you provoked a man that that, you know, you know, you were provoking him. It was all your fault. You know, the, the lady that was complaining because her her aunt. Oh, yeah, from the first, from the last movie, she got her throat ripped out. Yeah. <laughs> from, uh, the aunt and the husband. Yeah. And the, I was surprised I was surprised that, that she lived. You know, I, I did like... Okay, and let's just say we're getting the spoilers now. I mean, we're going to yeah, just talk about the movie. Again, totally spoilers. We're getting into the spoilers right now. Um, I did like... Okay, obviously... Um, real quick, though. Do you want to continue on or should we take a break? If you need to take a break, I'm good. Do you need to go rest you or I mean that way I can you can talk and then I can just Oh right. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> You're on. Okay, okay, okay. Uh well I'll I'll wait to get into spoilers until you come back. Um 
Yeah, no, uh, like what Steven was saying that like uh, about like kind of like the horror movie, you know, and um, kind of that being scared, you know, this and that like, um, yeah, no, I haven't found a movie that scared me in, in a while. Again, I, I, like I said earlier, Hereditary was, it's probably the one movie that I always recommend, probably the one movie that like, that really, like just really watching it. And then at the end of it, I was just like, oh, like what the f- like, like it just made me feel icky. It was just, it was disturbing. I, I needed to watch like something to cleanse the palate after. I think I put on the office after that. Um, when I was younger too, like the Halloween movies would always scare me. Like that shit was scary. Like even the music kind of like chewed me to the bone. Like, um, like just seeing Michael Myers standing there with that blank, you know, mask, you know, that, that just a blank stare. Like you couldn't even see his eyes. Just, you just see the darkness it was always scary. Um, and it freaked me out. So, like, now as an adult, you know, going back and watching, yeah, I, the original Halloween, I love it. Like, I, I think that's, honestly, um, it's 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 the biggest example of keeping it simple and not going, like, all out, you know. Um, I loved it. And um, I, I think since then, I mean, other than Halloween, that you know, the original Halloween 2, since then, these movies have not done that. Like, Halloween 2018 tried doing that, but it just, it, it, it didn't work. At least for me, like I mean, the movie was fine, but ultimately watching, I was disappointed. Uh, <laughs> and um, <laughs> can you hear the headphones? <laughs> you know they're making another uh, trick or treat too. So, um, um, Sam, that's your name, right, Sam? Uh, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, they're asking you for back for a sequel. Uh, are you ready for that? Is it going to be cheesy? I mean, are, are you ready for the for sequel? Yeah. Um, so did you see much success off the first one? You know, people, do people recognize you on the street? Yeah, I bet. I mean, I, I, I see your face everywhere. Um, oh yeah, no, you're very welcome. You're very, you're very welcome. Um, don't kill me. Um, okay. Oh, well, uh, so, did you watch new Halloween movie? No? Okay, well, it's probably a good thing. Did you watch any of the other ones? Like, the Halloween 2018 or Halloween... Okay, do you like... Did you see the first one? Yeah? You like that one? What? Oh, okay, no, no, you're right. You're right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you, you're probably right. Um, do you think that they should go on with more Halloween movies? Or should they just make more trick-or-treat movies? Trick-or-treat movies? Oh, okay, okay, okay. But um, are you going to, like, are you going to show, like, uh, is it going to be you as an older Sam or are you going to be still the same younger Sam? I see. Okay. Well, uh, do you like beer? Yeah? You want Oktoberfest? No, that, that's Stevens. That's Stevens. <laughs> oh, fuck him? Okay. Oh, well, um, cheers. Thanks for coming, Sam. I appreciate it. <laughs> fucking weirdo <laughs> well I mean we had uh, Sam come in those of you haven't seen uh, Trick or Treat that movie's pretty good and um yeah hey guys I'm back <laughs> oh, what did I miss <laughs> Sam came by Sam yeah Trick or Treat Son of Sam yeah is that the thing Trick or treat? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not Sam. It's from Son of Sam. You know, the murderer from New York. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who was drinking my beer? That motherfucker. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is that a couple of years ago when you when you wore that, that was a good costume. That was a good fucking costume. You still have that costume? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hmm, I might need to borrow that this weekend. <laughs> um... Not for that. I might need to borrow that. <laughs> going to a Halloween party on Saturday. I was like, I need a costume. I don't want to go buy one. Yeah, you can borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> that shit was fun. Um, <laughs> I was... Uh, I was Yeah, so pretty much like... Like... Um, I don't know about you, but like... When you were younger, watching the oh, you know the original Halloween movies... Like, did, like, did that scare you? Because for me, it scared the <laughs> shit out of me. Like when I was younger... Well, see that, that that's the weird thing about it is um like I said that's the weird thing about horror movies nowadays it's like 
I used to hate horror movies back when I was younger. I I did not watch them, uh, which, was like, which was weird though because one of my favorite things to watch on HBO uh-huh. was Tales from the Crypt. Mm-hmm. I used to love watching Tales from the Crypt. Never saw Demon Knight though, you know. But I think that's gonna be another one that's on my watch list. Anyways, <clears throat> so I used to love watching Tales from the Crypt and the uh, Creep Show. Mm-hmm. But then like, but uh, for movies, um, it was weird though because like I I hated Alien. I ca- I cannot fucking watch Alien for the life of me. <laughs> Like, no, thank you. <laughs> and um, you know, same thing with you know the Halloween and Chucky movies. You know, Freddy Krueger I could watch because he was just silly. He was just silly. That shit fucking scared me. I never, I've never sat through or watched a Jason movie. Friday, Friday Thirteenth. I kind of want to go back and. Like, oh yeah, watch Friday Thirteenth is one I. Uh... I kind of want to go back and just like just watch them. Back, <laughs> you know. Um. Yeah, I know, like, because Michael Myers used to scare the shit out of me, you know, and that, that's why I always always put up there as my, my favorite horror movie. And though. that's what I like that, you know, we're, we're talking to him, you know, we're saying Michael Myers, Michael Myers, Michael Myers, but <clears throat> in these new ones, he wasn't Michael Myers, he was The Shape. Yeah, well, that's because he was, that's what he was in the first one. Yeah, but I'm saying that that's what they're, they, 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 they yeah, yeah. That, that, that's what they're trying to bring him back as, and I just think, like, it just doesn't work anymore, like. Like, especially with what you guys are doing, like, it just, it doesn't work anymore. Like, I don't know. Like, it's, I mean, maybe it could have, but it kind of, kind of killed it with, like, with what everybody else is doing. Like, evil dies tonight, you know? Like, that fucking took me out of it so bad. Like, so bad. Yeah. Um. So, okay, well, you know, we're kind of, like, just being around a bush here, but, like, Halloween, Halloween ends. Um... Basically, I mean, like, that, honestly, that's probably, like, one of the best, like, intros to a horror movie that I've seen in a while, because it was so unexpected, because I was, like, watching, like, what's going on, like, the babysitter or whatever. And, <laughs> yeah, no no offense to, like, you know, kids, <laughs> but that's kind of, like, some of the shit I like to see, because, okay. Because I, it's, I, it's, I, it's I, shock I, value. Because I had, yeah, exactly, and I had this conversation with my neighbor again last night, too. Um, yeah, because, you know, like, uh, like, before... Like the youngest that you can kill was a teenager. Yeah, and there was always teenagers that were that were being haunted. And it's like you know, because in my mind I was like, "Fuck teenagers!" They're basically they're almost like adults. You could fuck them up as much as you want, <laughs> you know. But it's like when you get a kid involved, it's like holy shit! Yeah, like, hell yeah, dude. It's like, I guess like one, I guess one of the earliest examples, and I'm not sure. I could be wrong. You know, this is, this is the one that I can think of. Earliest examples of that could be uh, Pet Cemetery. Yeah. yeah, the kid dying. That was pretty that one. rough. Uh, another one that I liked was, uh, even though the movie was real cheesy, you know, it was kind of like an action movie, but uh, a, uh, Predator versus uh, Aliens versus Predator uh, Requiem, mm-hmm. where the uh, face hugger also gets the, the kid. Oh and, yeah. It, it, <laughs> 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 but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's like because it, it it just wasn't adults. It was they 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 don't like they these creatures don't care. They'll they'll kill anything in their path. Yeah. See, the thing is with this one that like it wasn't Michael Myers. It was a complete accident. It was a it was um it was an inciting incident to this character. You know, like this is kind of what drives him to be like that well known kind of like oh you're the one that killed that kid. Which kind of intent, in, 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 you know, in turn drives him to kind of be sympathetic with Michael Myers because there's that one scene where he's in the sewer, he gets thrown well, off. But well, what does that one kid say? We got the psycho in the freak show. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the psycho in the freak show. You know, we got you know, uh, Lori Strode and um, fucking what's his name? Corey. 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 Yeah, Corey. Whatever. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so it's just like. But there's that one scene where, like, they throw him off the bridge and Michael Myers, like, drags him into the sewer. And he's, like, choking him. And when I saw that scene, I was all like, oh, is he, like, kind of, like, getting, like, his, uh, you know, like, when you like, almost about to die, your life flashes before your eyes or whatever. I was like, oh, I was like, is, he, is, is that what Michael was doing? Like, he's choking him out to see, like, his life flash before his eyes. And from what I can gather after watching reviews and, like, this and that, like, no, like, he pretty much was going to kill him. And then he kind of, like, just kind of sensed that, like, oh, this, this kid is just like me. You know, in a sense, I'm just like, what? Like, Michael Myers is sympathetic? What the fuck? Like, when did this happen? And that's kind of like, I was like, oh, what the fuck are we doing? Like, is he, and he lets him live. I'm just like, uh, I will say though, like, one, one of the things that I did like about this move, about this part, a movie, again, 
It's ba- it basically, in a nutshell, it's just like this kid is taking over Michael Myers' mantle. Basically, was yeah. what, 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 what we're doing. It, again, in a nutshell, it's like a shitty explanation to a movie. Um, I did like when he like has his mask and he's like walking around as Michael. Michael, he really like looked like Michael, like straight kind of walking, you know, like. Uh, but again, like his, you know. <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't know. It was, it was a weird choice. And then you get the whole thing with Allison, you know, and like, this isn't the first time that they, that Michael has had some type of protege. Talking about, uh, Jamie from the original ones. His little niece. Not that she was a protege, but she was all like, kind of like, kind of one in one with him. No, um. <clears throat> there was I'm not sure which one it was. I'm not sure if it was uh the fourth or fifth one where there are like multiple Oh. Uh well they're like I can't remember. Um and like the, the sheriff's like Loomis and there's like they're look the Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah. I think that's like the I think that's the fourth one. Yeah. Um But uh why don't you give your thoughts? I'm gonna go use the restroom so you know. Um um. Yeah. Give your give your thoughts on this movie. My thoughts on this movie. Make it quick because we're. I need to end. We need to end this. <clears throat> it ends tonight. Evil dies tonight. Oh uh, God. Halloween ends. Not a good movie for me. I did not. I didn't care for it. <clears throat> Would I watch it again? No. Not willingly. I would not watch it again willingly. Uh, if, it, if it's on and someone else is watching it, I'll probably sit down and watch it. But, I mean, it just was kind of predictable for me. And, you know, the other thing, too, was, like, I I did find the character really lacking in um, strife. Like, he just was not the same Michael Myers that we saw in previous movies. I mean, even the ones that they that they did don't count, you know? I mean, and even in, in the fucking Rob Zombie remakes, it just was not the Michael Myers that we knew. And, you know, he was just like, they just paid him out to be an old person. And I was just like, no, thank you. And, like, he... It was like he almost gave up, too, because it's like, yeah, he got... Uh, Laurie Strobe's da- daughter, and so it was. It was just Laurie and her granddaughter that were the surviving mm-hmm. um, ones. <clears throat> and it just no. <laughs> However, this did give me like an almost like a eighties horror vibe in some of the parts, like where you know they're riding on the motorcycle and. <laughs> Everybody's saying the same thing that like, cause that was like right after like they kind of killed people together, right? Yeah. And like right after that cuts to the scene where he's riding a motorcycle and everybody was like, I I completely imagine just Michael on the back of him, just you know, like you know, <laughs> it was like it was. I, I I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought about that, cause like I remember we were watching the movie together and we we're all like, I was like, oh, I thought Michael was gonna be there. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, what the fuck, you know. Um. So, before we end this, I mean, uh, the movie obviously ends with much, you know. And I'm sorry, like this is probably not the best. Re- but re- did you notice that, that Lori wore her original outfit? Oh yeah, jeans and the uh, the blue. Oh, uh... mm. huh, I didn't catch that. Still didn't make it better. <laughs> I'm just. <saying. laughs> um, but um, uh, what was I saying? Um, uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably not the best like review, but it's just you know whatever. Like this movie was even then wasn't the best. Um. But um, obviously this movie ends where like they, you know, they kill Michael Myers and they, they kill Michael Myers. Like you know, she cuts his, slices his, slices his, uh, his throat, slices his wrist, and um, you know, there's anything the, and everything that will make him bleed out. The city, uh, the city of Haddonfield, pretty much does what the the subway in New York does to Spider Man in Spider Man Two, where they hold him above, they put him on the uh, on the police car. Uh, I thought that was pretty funny. Like they just like you know try him onto the top top of the police car. Did they, I actually go to that though? I I actually thought that was um, <clears throat> I thought that was pretty cool because I th- I thought that was inst- you know obviously in the movie it's more to be like oh we finally got rid of the evil. 
Mm-hmm. But I also felt like they were all it, for the fans. It was like, um, how would you say like, uh, like an homage to him, like you mm-hmm. know, like, oh, like kind of like yeah, I see what you mean, you yeah, know, yeah, like. Like this like, is this is the one guy you th- love, you know. This is the character you love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is kind of weird because serial killer. You know? <laughs> um, yeah, and then out of out of all horror, and then at that too, then then they throw him in the fucking grinder, and you just like they show that shit, <laughs> you know, like whoa, like his skull gets crushed and everything. Like, uh, okay, I think he's coming back. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> so going forward, um, at you as a fan, what do you? would like them to do would you you know would you just you know again because they're, they're gonna make something it's gonna happen eventually whether it be two years three years 10 years 15 years from now it's it, it, it's gonna pop up again would you rather them make just another like um reboot or you know whatever have you or would you like uh kind of like a la season of the witch like another anthology film because be, in, in in this movie we did get, kind of get set up that, like, this town is plagued by what Michael, Michael did. These people are killing themselves, you know, doing this stuff because of everything he did. They're, they're paranoid, you know. Haddonfield is probably the worst town in the United States. Because, you know, like, they're just they're scared of Michael Myers and, yeah. like, they're just, like, killing themselves. You know, which which intense could, like, you know, provoke a copycat. Honestly, I would not like them to do anything. Um, <clears throat> if this is the way it's going to end, then I like the way it ended. Mm-hmm. You know, again, I like that. Even though it was the town getting rid of the, of Michael Myers and actually seeing him getting, being rid of, but it was also like like praising him at the mm-hmm. same time. But for but for the fans, <clears throat> for the fans, you know, it was praising for the for the fans. Like, hey, this is an iconic character, you know, like yeah. you know, and this is how he's gonna go. <clears throat> I would have rather had them had him burn his body. Yeah, they, they, they threw his ass in the grinder. <laughs> They're like, no, fuck no. We're going to make sure this motherfucker's dead. <laughs> um, I would like Rob Zombie to come back. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, God. Um, nah, I mean, I don't honestly, like, I'm with you. Maybe just don't do nothing with this no more. Yeah. You know? Nah, just stay it in. Let's, let's move on to something else. Uh, before we do sign off, how do you feel about... Um, uh, da, da, da. Hold on, let me bring it up here. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Well, before you bring that up, uh, uh, do you know that the director, Dave, David Gordon Green, is moving on to his next project, which is uh, a remake of The Exorcist? Ah. Mm-hmm. He's making The Exorcist. How do you feel about that? And he did say that it's, it's completely like, it's not going to be the same tone as his Halloween movies. Hmm. The Exorcist. We'll see how it goes. I mean, The Exorcist is probably like one of the fucking scariest movies. Mm-hmm. Like, ugh. And I, I, I don't think it's gonna be the same thing. Like, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a sequel to the original. I think it's gonna be like it's a, a total remake. A remake yeah. <clears throat> okay. Well, let me ask you this: How do you feel about Robert England giving uh, Kevin Bacon the okay to play Freddy? Kevin Bacon? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. It, it really goes because we already saw one person, um, you know, try to recreate Freddy, and it did not work. I'm sorry, Jack Arrow, Haley, you're you're good as Warshak. You sucked as Freddy. Like that was just maybe maybe creepy. Sure, yeah, fine. But will you? Robert England is iconic. <clears throat> Kevin Bacon. I don't know. That's interesting. Very interesting. I love the bakes. <laughs> I love the bacon. I mean, Kevin Bacon's come out with some, you know, Stir of Echoes. Jeez, that movie was uh, scary. Hollow Man. Oh, Hollow Man. Oh, oh, <laughs> damn. That's probably the most because he remember he wears that like kind of like that yeah. latex. It kind of looks. You can see that looking like Freddy, right? Yeah. We should watch Hollow Man right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that movie's so horny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah there's that I'll leave you with that I'll leave, I'll huh. leave you I'll leave you to ponder with that to, I'm gonna ponder to, that, that's, to next that's interesting I I'm interested in that 
Kevin Bacon's pretty good. So, question real quick before we sign off again. Um, are we going to shoot an episode before then on sun, the Sunday before Halloween? What are we talking about? Best horror movies. Best horror. So that means we have to spend the whole week watching horror movies. That's a that's an assignment. Yeah, I'm down. I already got stuff I'm gonna watch again. I'm probably like gonna watch The Witch tonight. So oh, that movie is so good. What's time are you watching it? <laughs> probably right after the show. <laughs> uh, that's, that's that's a good movie. That movie creeped me out. I'm like, Ugh, what the fuck? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, because I, I, I want to get together. Uh, you know how last time we did the 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 Batman movie trivia, or whatever. I want to get together like a Halloween movie trivia. Ooh, I want to do that too. And I got to I'm gonna try to find something for us to do. But I think I have an idea of something else. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Yep. So. <clears throat> All right, guys. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, we're gonna have another episode next week uh, before Halloween. It'll probably be released on Halloween if, if you know. If, if you, anything, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> um, so. Um, yeah, that was, uh, I mean, again, uh, this show is what we just kind of get together and talk about, you know, we're just, you know, we're, you know, we talk to each other, we drink beer, and we just, you know, shoot the shit, so, um, you know, if you guys have any thoughts or whatever, just leave them down in the comments, you know, please leave a like in the video, uh, share it with your friends, you know, follow us on Instagram, you know, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, um, you know, you know so if, you're on, like, if you're watching YouTube, if you got, whatever you guys listen to, just, you know, leave us some sort of like or recognition or whatever, you know, it, it, it really means a lot to us. Um, you know, we've been cheer, you know, we've been kind of putting these out, um, and, uh, and any, any and all recognition or likes, whatever, comments, is, is always appreciated. We want to know what you guys know, uh, what you guys felt about the new Halloween movie, about She-Hulk, you know, what, you know, what do you feel about that? Was it, uh, anything, anything, yeah, anything, anything, anything we're talking about today. Any um, that... <clears throat> that we probably didn't even mention that you're watching there. You know, maybe we'll take a gander, or maybe we are watching. We just didn't mention. It. Yeah, yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer is pretty good. I mean, it's pretty awesome. It's creepy as fuck, but you know, watch it. Um, I know there's a lot of shit going on with that too. <laughs> but, you know, so. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. Um, but uh, yeah, guys. So uh, this is episode 75. We're geeking and drinking. Episode Check out 75. all these beers that we have on the table. 25. There's 25 more till we get to oh, it. Man, we're quitting. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers and uh, check out the beers. All the links are, in, uh, are down below. Uh, see you guys later. Cheers. Cheers.